Teen, a group of local women are helping to empower each other one stitch at a time. Stitch Buffalo, made up of refugees from places all across the world, and together they form a tight knit workshop that bonds their community. Seven Eyewitness News reporter Liz Lewin at our digital dashboard. Liz, tell us all about this. Good morning. Well, I did a little research. This year alone, Journeys End estimates 2,000 refugees will resettle right here in the Queen City. Stitch Buffalo is teaching some of those refugee women how to ease their transition, uniting them through craft work, but the lessons there go far beyond knitting. Take Sally Bandari, for example. Sally's from Bhutan, but it's okay. called Buffalo home for the past five years. Since joining Stitch Buffalo just a year ago, life's become a lot easier and more enjoyable, she says. For the past three years, this not-for-profit group has been teaching, educating, empowering, and setting the differences aside for these women every week as they gather together to learn, and teach each other. And they walk away with a tangible reminder, you're not alone. Really gaining a lot of confidence to then go out and apply for jobs. We feel at home here, we speak the same language. Yeah, everything the same, we feel more comfortable. I loved it. I sat around the table, all the languages, all the cultures, 95% of the materials that they use at Stitch Buffalo are donated. So this new retail space that you're seeing, thanks to Rich Products, which now allows the women to sell their crafts and make some profit from them, which then gives them a little bit more that goes a lot longer of a way. Right now, over 55 women, including Sally, who has made this Buffalo pin, which you'll see in just a second that I'm wearing, are part of Stitch Buffalo. The good news is walk-ins are welcome at the digital dashboard. Liz Lowen, 7 Eyewitness News. All right, what a great idea, Liz. Thank you so much. At six